Central Catholic served notice right out of the gate that it would be one of the better teams in the EPC. The Vikings started their season with a 1-0 win at perennial contender Parkland. Brandon Quinn delivered the only goal of the game, and Ryan Yen stopped six Trojan shots to post the clean sheet. That early loss, however, did not deter Parkland one iota. Behind an offensive attack spearheaded by Zach Morales and Will Wagstaff, and a stifling defense anchored by Jake Seed, Parkland would go 17-0-1 in its next 18 games, hold off Central Catholic for the EPC West Division title, and earn the top seed in the league tournament. The Freedom Patriots were not at full strength when the season got underway. They dropped two of their first three games, but the Patriots really caught fire by the end of September. They would win 14 consecutive games and claim the EPC's East Division title. The Patriots featured a two-pronged attack on offense. Seniors Peter Tishy and Sebastian Garces worked so well off one another. Tishy would be named the most valuable player in the EPC with a phenomenal 34 goals, setting a school record and adding 25 assists. There's a steal by Tishy, top of the 18, a bullet and he scores! Garces complemented that effort with 15 goals of his own and a school record 34 assists. The defense wasn't too shabby either. Freedom posted 12 shutouts, including four straight late in the season. Keeper Tristan Wiley was named third team EPC, and defender Austin Hoffert was named to the first team. Jaden Amato shoots high into the back of the net, the first goal of the game. What, no mention of Emmaus yet? The defending league champion Green Hornets had a very interesting year. They were unbeaten in their first 13 games with eight wins and five ties but there was some rare turbulence for the team late in the campaign. Playing seven games in 13 days, the fatigued Hornets went 0-2-1 in their final three regular season games and were shut out in each contest. They entered the EPC tournament as the number five seed. Sometimes you see boys with their heads low because it is, it is another tie. It's our fifth tie of the season. But uh, coaches stay with us, they'll just keep our heads up. We gotta come back harder, fight harder, and uh, put some goals in the back of the net. Let's check in on the Colonial League, where the top four teams each had at least nine wins in league play. Moravian Academy claimed the regular season title with a record of 11-1. After an 0-2 start overall, the Lions then rattled off 14 consecutive victories. They were followed in the Colonial League standings by Notre Dame Green Pond and Southern Lehigh, each at 10-2. Northwestern Lehigh was fourth with a 9-3 slate. It was the Tigers who delivered the biggest upset in the tournament. After beating Palisades in the quarterfinals, Northwestern took out the top-seeded Lions 2-0 in the semifinals. The Tigers had also handed Moravian Academy its only loss in the Colonial League regular season. That propelled the Tigers into the championship game, where they bested Southern Lehigh by another 2-0 final to claim the crown. That avenged a 2-1 loss to the Spartans on September 9th. We came out a bit slow, but second half we really picked it up. We started dominating and we got chances and then we capitalized. The league tournament in the EPC featured a very deep field. Parkland, Central Catholic, Freedom and Nazareth were the top four seeds. In the bottom half of the bracket, it was all Freedom. The 2018 champions routed Easton 6-0 in the quarterfinals. What followed in the semifinals was a dominant performance in a 3-1 victory against Central Catholic. As usual, Tishy led the way, netting two of the three goals for freedom. The Patriots left no doubt in the championship game. A four-goal second half gave them their second title in four seasons in a 5-0 win over Parkland. Tishy again showed his MVP form as he was involved in all five goals. He tallied his fifth of six hat tricks on the season and for good measure assisted on the other two freedom goals. 31 goals this year and he's not even a striker. He's been an outside back, center back for us for the first two years. When we lost to Parkland the first time, we moved him up top and his ability to finish the goals and his calmness on the ball has made us just a significantly better team. Lehigh Valley teams would really strut their stuff in the District 11 tournament. In Class A, Moravian Academy bounced back very nicely from that loss in the Colonial League semifinals. The Lions were absolutely dominant against two Schuylkill League teams to take the single A title, outscoring their opponents by a combined 21 to nothing. The number one seed hammered Tri-Valley 12 nothing in the semifinals and easily handled second seed Schuylkill Haven 9-0 in the championship game. 
In the AA field, Central Catholic's difficult schedule in the EPC certainly had the Vikings ready for the tournament. The top seed crushed their rivals from Bethlehem Catholic 5-1 in the quarterfinals. The number four seed Jim Thorpe likewise was no obstacle in the semifinals. EPC first team selection Maxim Comperta delivered two goals and an assist in a 6-0 triumph. In the title match, Ben Scandone and Pierce Wagner each scored a goal in a 2-0 win over Notre Dame Green Pond, ending the Crusaders' run of four straight district championships. It was Central's second district title. This is awesome. Freshman, sophomore, junior year, we lost in the semifinals. So the fact that we could get one for all those guys on those past teams. My brother was on my team freshman year. We lost. Some of my best friends were on the teams last year. So, so when they were texting us, good luck. It was just, it feels so good that I get to text them that we finally won. At the AAA classification, two familiar foes would meet to decide the championship and the lone state bracket berth from District 11. Number one seed Northwestern took care of East Stroudsburg South in the semifinals, while three seed Southern Lehigh dispatched Blue Mountain to set up an all-Colonial League final. The Tigers and Spartans split their first two meetings of the season. Northwestern came out on top in the rubber match with a 3-1 victory to claim district gold. Matt Johnson scored twice for the Tigers to lead them to their third consecutive title. And in 4A, EPC Champ Freedom was looking to duplicate its double titles from the 2018 season. A dangerous EMEA squad was the fourth seed in a deep bracket that featured several teams capable of bringing home the gold. Parkland, the number two seed, faced an outstanding 16-win Nazareth team in the semifinals, a title game berth that came down to the final seconds of overtime. Another drive, goes off the post and in! Parkland will win it to go to the championship game! Unbelievable delivery by Heberling. Luke Heberling with the game-winning goal at Memorial Field, propelling the Trojans into the district finale. Meanwhile, the Emmaus defense was able to hold the high-powered Freedom offense in check to earn a 2-0 win. Lawrence crosses it to the middle of the goal. That went off wow. the foot of Brian Floor and into the back of the net. A fancy finish by Floor and an early goal by Ryan Kiernan, the only tallies of the game, as the Green Hornets clinched an 11th straight district championship berth, setting up another meeting with rival Parkland. There was some bad news for Emmaus, as it would have to play the final without leading scorer Kiernan, who was injured in the semifinal. The Green Hornets, though, didn't miss a beat as they took down the Trojans 3-1. Floor, who scored four times in the postseason, finished off a pretty goal that started with a Jaden Amato free kick near midfield that was headed Floor's way by Ryan Santos. It was the third straight district title for Emmaus and the 18th in school history. It was a clean sweep for the Lehigh Valley as area teams captured all four classifications in the District 11 tournament. Moravian Academy took home its ninth straight district title. Central Catholic won its first championship since 2012. Northwestern has delivered gold six times since 2015. And Emmaus has won three straight district titles for the third time. Those four champions, plus 4A runner-up Parkland, all qualified for the state tournament. Moravian Academy, which won a state title in 2019, came the closest to getting to Hershey. The Lions defeated West Shore Christian and Tulpahocken, both out of District 3, to reach the semifinals. But the run ended there with a 4-0 loss to District 1 champ Faith Christian. In 2A, Central Catholic won its first round game against Lansdale Catholic 4-1. Junior forward Maxim Comperta, who finished the season with 34 goals, led the way for the Vikings in the opener with his sixth hat trick of the season. Central would fall 3-2 to 2020 champ Lewisburg in the quarterfinals. Northwestern Lehigh's run would end in the second round of the 3A tournament, while both 4A schools suffered losses to District 1 teams in the opening round. Parkland falling to Lower Marion, and despite getting a goal on a header from Jaden Amato, Emmaus fell just shy to Abington 2-1 in overtime. We were definitely in it from the start. You know, we knew what it takes after these, you know, especially these four weeks coming into this. You know, the team's been working really hard. Really proud of these guys, devastating with the loss, but proud of the guys for this season. 
Five players were recognized as All-Staters by the Pennsylvania Soccer Coaches Association. Amato earns his second All-State honor. The senior was superb at both ends of the field. He scored nine goals, five of them game winners, while anchoring the Emmaus defense. The dynamic duo of Garces and Tishy posted some very gaudy offensive numbers. They combined for 49 goals and 59 assists during their senior seasons. Garces had a six assist game and a five assist game. Tishy had more than one point in each of his last 13 games. Bibiano, a senior at Wilson, posted some staggering numbers to earn his accolades. In 19 games, he found the back of the net 38 times while adding a dozen assists. Mazella, a senior, led Moravian Academy to within one game of another state title appearance. He finished the season with 34 goals, including a five-goal game in districts, and added 12 assists. Those five All-Staters are all seniors, but there are plenty of talented underclassmen who will try to keep the Lehigh Valley atop District 11 and beyond next year. For the Service Electric Network, I'm Steve Degler.